The Lowell Shedwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Four Times That Night from 1971. It's the eighth and final film in the Bava Box Volume 2, is directed by Mario Bava and stars Daniela Giordano and Brett Halsey. I finally figured out the reason to the order of films in this second volume of the Bava Box. Kinda. It's not in chronological order like the first volume is, it's not in alphabetical order, which would still make a bit more sense. No, it's in the order of what he's mostly known for. Kinda. I don't know why start with Lisa and the Devil and the House of Exorcism, but Bay of Blood and Baron Blood being at the beginning makes sense because that's Bava's bread and butter. Horror. Then we move on to his other films that the distributor got the rights to because there are other movies not in this collection, like Blood and Black Lace, Planet of the Vampires, and Shock that we'll be talking about later in our journey together. Four Times That Night is a sex comedy about a date between the two leads one night from the perspective of four people. The man, the woman's, a peeping Tom Dorman, and finally a psychoanalyst who offers another angle entirely. Well, as far as being a sex comedy, it gets the sex part down. Plenty of sex talk and sex action to be had in this film. As for the comedy, eh, it feels a lot mean-spirited at times, and the whole female perspective of the date plays like she barely escaped being raped. The man paints the night to his buddies as a total success that she was completely into and willing for, while the doorman explains what he spies on as a sexually immoral den of iniquity with homosexuals and predatory lesbians. It's the rapey parts and the gay shit that come off the most as tone deaf as it is trying to play it off as comedy, but well, times have changed apparently because none of that shit would fly now and it shouldn't have flown then either. But then, after hearing all three sides of the evening, a psychoanalyst shows up and says they were all telling the truth as it appeared to them. Which is patently false because then there would have been some events that happened in all three versions of the day that stayed the same, but each version is so wildly different, it can only be that each person was telling a fabrication of what really happened that night. And then the psychoanalyst doesn't even tell us what really happened. Happened. Just a milk toast version of what might have happened. There are some good ideas in this film for sure. The deconstructing of a date from four perspectives is interesting, but could have been done a lot better and not so painfully dismissively in some fashions. I'm gonna give Four Times That Night a D plus because the negative painting of the homosexual actions in this film rubbed me the wrong way, and overall it just isn't as good as it would like to be. And that'll do it for the second volume of the Bava Box as we move back to the Fifty Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares tomorrow for the film. Slasher. See y'all then.